Hi there. So, why am I talking to you right now? I'm talking to you because I just had a meeting with a student. By the way, this is very off the cuff, not planned at all. Hope that's okay. Kind of vlog style, I guess. So, I just finished a meeting with a student. And you have these moments where you realize you think about a problem differently than other people do. And I had this meeting and I realized that I think very differently than certainly my non-statistician colleagues and maybe even my statistician colleagues. I don't know. I'm going to put this out there and see if anybody thinks the same way I do. But basically what happened was a student brought me an analysis they had done where it was basically just a multiple regression with like like 10 actually i think it was 12 different predictor variables and they said here what do you think how'd i do and my first thought when i see that many predictor variables in a multiple regression is to my gut reaction is to say you have too many variables you're, you're doing something wrong here and I started thinking about why is it that I think that way? And so when I use multiple regression or the basic general linear model, what I tend to do is I try to think in terms of hypotheses. I have a hypothesis. And in my mind, hypotheses are tied to specific parameters. Like I think the effect of uh, gender, or I'm sorry, the effect of anxiety on depression depends on one's gender and so that sort of hypothesis says that okay you're going to have a different slope for men and a different slope for women uh, in the relationship between anxiety and depression or whatever i just said and so in my mind i'm translating that into a linear model and then i'm once i've translated it into a linear model then i'm trying to think about what specific parameter is my hypothesis about and in that case it's the interaction effect because you're hypothesizing that there are different slopes for men versus women. So it's tied to one parameter. But when you have 12 variables, I want to ask, what is the hypothesis? And very often students or fellow faculty members have a hard time identifying their hypothesis, or it tends to be like, which of these is the best predictor Actually, they don't even say it in those terms, because if they said it in those terms, I'd get it. Instead, what they say is, um, how do these variables relate to the outcome? And see, that's not specific enough for me. Uh, and I don't, I don't think it's a very refined hypothesis. And so what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that uh, I, th I think this is what I'm, I'm making this up as I go, by the way. I think what I'm trying to say is that you have basically two ways of doing statistics. One is hypothesis driven, in which case it's very rare to have a specific hypothesis that includes more than three variables, two or three variables. I rarely see a hypothesis, a specific hypothesis that has more than three variables. Um, so you're either in that category or you're in the category of what I would call data mining, where you're saying, I've got all these predictor variables and I wanna know which one of these predictor variables or which ones are the best predictors. So yeah, you're in data mining territory there. So when I see a regression table with lots of predictors, my gut reaction is to say, stop using multiple regression. Multiple regression is terrible for data mining and instead use something like a random forest or some sort of other AI algorithm. That's what I would do. Uh, yeah, is that all I had to say about that? I feel like there was something more I was gonna say about that. So I guess my take home, and again, I'm making this up as I go along. Uh, my take home message from that is when you are doing analysis, uh, A, it's a red flag to me if you have more than two or three predictors. And B, uh, when you have two or three predictors, those need to be tied to specific hypotheses. And C, I guess, uh, if you do have more than three or four predictors, you're probably asking a research question. You're not stating a hypothesis. And that research question tends to be which one of these is the best predictors or the best predictor, in which case uh, you would probably resort to doing some sort of machine learning algorithm. So I think those are my thoughts for today. So anyway, um, 
yeah, so I just met with a student via Zoom, and I had the camera set up and the light. By the way, this is how I do my Zoom stuff. Uh, I had all the things to, uh, set up already, so I thought I'd make a video. If you like these kinds of videos, like totally off the cuff and kind of sharing my thoughts, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do it more. Anyway, peace out.